you gotta love it. Every time you do research for the Italian Renaissance, you always end up with like very, very weird things. I'm gonna pull up some stuff. We can talk a little bit about Venetian fashion in the Italian Renaissance, cause it's a trip. I'm not even going to be try to decipher if some of these fashions are for courtesans or not because people seem to think that the fashions were for particular people and actually that was like kind of part of the issue. Like the entire Vicelio book is basically like anti-courtesan propaganda. This is just highly ironic that everyone was trying to wear the same stuff and then they were like, we can't tell the difference and like all of this weird stuff going on. We're not going to go into that though. We're just going to be here to laugh, okay? <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> so there's a lot of things going on here. First thing that comes to mind that I see is the uh, collar that looks a bit like one of those lizards. <laughs> She's got a fan, a flag fan. I actually made one of those. I, it turns out they were just made out of paper. I just spent forever, you know, digitizing that, but whatever, it's cool. <laughs> Points everywhere. Triangles, very popular at the time. Even her hair. Yeah, they did this like horn thing. This was actually a pretty popular style, especially like 1590s. Six, early 1600s. Okay, so this is actually, I, I, I read a little bit about this. So this is a bride being presented, whatever that means. Um, and still pretty much all of the same elements of the last picture, except she's got her hair hanging down and nice addition, a crown. I, I like that, I'm all right with that. Here we are, I guess the bride is on a gondola. You know, honestly, this picture scared me the first time I saw it. I feel like this guy accidentally falls down. He falls off. This is giving me anxiety. Ah, here we are. Kind of just basically the same idea. Lots of triangles still. Very popular, like I said, and that dog is creeping me out. This dog, by the way, in almost every painting, so popular, very hot at that time. That dog in particular, that kind of dog, I don't know if it's the same dog. Maybe, maybe it's the same dog. It's like so weird how this dog appears everywhere. It's very strange. <laughs> nice. Similar idea, we got the collar, you know, same stuff, same stuff. Actually, that's a kind of a cool robe. I kind of want to make that, actually. Neat. And I like that sash wrapped around. I could actually, this is a cool look. I like this idea. So now we're moving on to Moore's Italiae. Let's see what we have. Moore's Italiae is an interesting book. I'm going to have to censor, I think, the book. <laughs> It's always interesting to me how people could say that this time period people were very, very set on covering everything up when <laughs> it's not the case. In Venice, definitely not the case. The other um, interesting thing is not only um, exposing this area, but then also covering up this whole area, which, you know, I already did a video about, um, you know, wearing a veil over your face because you just don't want to be perceived. It's an interesting way of covering up, that's all I gotta say. <laughs> Alright, now we're moving on to Clothing of the Renaissance World by Cesare Vicelio from 1590, and he does some of the older stuff and the newer stuff. This, my friends, <laughs> is gold. <laughs> you know what, honestly? Yes, I totally would take a blanket and tie it up and put it on my head. That looks very comfy. Yes, the balso, that giant, giant, like almost like a basket because it's like a cage with like fabric around the outside and then giant, giant sleeves that appear to be fuzzy somehow, but leafy. <laughs> The description actually says that you can put things in the bottom part and that seems really practical, right? <laughs> uh, and here we have the what you, we've already seen in the other fashions, which is honestly starting to grow on me. I think I'm really gonna have to make something like this to really fully understand it. These ladies is tall and the part of the reason why is because show pins. Show pins, show pins are like platforms, but more. <laughs> I don't know who it was that was like, you know, it's fine and all getting out of the mud. Um, I'm glad that we can escape the mud, but what if I just towered over you? That would be awesome. 
So those were some of my favorites. I hope you've enjoyed. <laughs> and you've gotten to laugh a little. <laughs> Take care. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>